welcome back to my channel today what we're going to see is today one small special video guys mm, you can see how many of them will know about raspberry pi i don't know anyway mm, raspberry pi means is this um act as a small computer guys it's just act as a cpu also you can say anyway mm, if you want to know more about this Raspberry Pi means just I have given a website link in the below description just go through that website link and read lot about Raspberry Pi in that website anyway here you can see this is the Raspberry Pi and I am going to connect this Raspberry Pi with my new TV just I have given a power supply source here you can see this is a mobile charger only I have just connected and one thing I want to tell you guys, um, by using this Raspberry Pi, you can make any video calls in your TV, like Google Meet, Google Duo, anything guys, any video calling app, it will support, so Raspberry Pi will support, anyway, okay, um, one thing I want to tell you before entering this video, this Raspberry Pi, I already configured guys. If you need that configuration video means just ask in the comment section definitely i will make video separately i have just uh, given a link in a below comment section of the raspberry pi configuration video how to configure this raspberry pi mm, that is not my video that is not my channel video that is some other channel's video i have just picked from youtube which is uh, best and clear explanation of videos uh, of about configuration of raspberry pi it's not a big task uh, it's simple only okay let's first we can see the overview of this video this is the raspberry pi pi cam you can use webcam also guys in next video i will show you how to use webcam for video calling purpose using raspberry pi in any tv both audio and video call will support guys okay now let's I am going to connect this Raspberry Pi with my new TV wirelessly by using my Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's start our process. Before that, I am going to switch on power supply to this Raspberry Pi. Okay, now let's go to Toy TV app. download VNC here you can see this is the VNC here that's here you go you can see okay now install this VNC viewer for connecting this Raspberry Pi because why I did not make a configuration video means because I configured a month ago guys for my college project so only I did not able to shoot video about configuration anyway if you want this configuration video means just ask in the comment section I will arrange configuration video for now I have given a configuration video link in the below description but that is not my link I just picked one video from YouTube based on simple explanation video from YouTube and I have placed that link in the below description if you want that means you can also watch that video of configuration how to can configure this Raspberry Pi okay anyway now I'm going to start if you cannot understand that video means just tell I will make my own video of configuration how to configure Raspberry Pi. Okay, just click open. Now click. Let's make next. Let's start. Sorry. Let's start. Here you can see. You should use mouse configuration this Raspberry Pi. Sorry for connecting this Raspberry Pi. Now click this button now you should enter IP address of this Raspberry Pi you can use this app 
for knowing this IP address of hash Wi-Fi which you are connected in your Wi-Fi network just a minute network IP scanner it's not zooming you can see this is the tap just a minute you can see this is the tap network IP scanner This is my Raspberry Pi IP address. Uh, for security purpose, I am blurring. So you can type any name. I am going to type my name itself. So you can see now you can connect. Just click connect. Click here to connect. Now you should enter your username and password. The default Raspberry Pi password is Pi and password is Raspberry Pi. That is a default default username and password of Raspberry Pi. see now we have opened okay you can see now our android tv is just turned into one pc this is the trash paper now i connected into my new tv now my tv is connected into one small pc Okay, for example, I'm going to browser. Browser is available in top corner. I think so. It is not visible due to there is a sticker is there. Anyway, you can see the browser is loading. What we can type this is our browser of Raspberry Pi. For example, I'm going to test my webcam. You can see it's new. You can see I'm going to show that webcam test. Uh, scroll down it's detecting my camera this is our camera small cam just click test my camera it's starting up you can see the light is blinking okay, so here you can see guys i'm just showing up this cam you can see we can make any video calls also guys like skype google meet google Duo, both video as well as audio will also work using this as well you can see i'm just rotating my camera it's working fine but clarity is not good in, in upcoming videos now i'm going to use my webcam only not raspberry pi cam this is default camera of this raspberry pi okay anyway now I'm going to come back. Okay, guys. Now uh, it's just a overview video only, and and how many people have understand this video? I don't know, guys. Um, if you are uh, any, if you are still in confused my news, just go to our uh, official Raspberry Pi page. I have given a link, link in the below description of that page and learn more about Raspberry Pi guys and in upcoming lectures um, sorry in upcoming videos 
I'm going to show about how to make video call in Raspberry Pi by using MeTV. Both audio and video will get supports in any kind of platforms because now currently in MeTV, not in MeTV, in general small TV, 1G video is only supporting in video calling apps, not audio is supporting. Anyway, by using this Raspberry Pi, both audio and video is get supported in MeTV now in any video calling app. Okay, guys, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts or questions, just ask in the comment section. Definitely, I will reply, guys. And do like and subscribe our channel for more videos, guys. Bye.